Hey, it's Joe from The Automator. And the other day I was working with a client and they had a need to have distribution lists, like email distribution lists. And, you know, you could also do the same approach for phone numbers. But you have a list of things that you're trying to either email or text. And it's, you know, you want something very easy to use. And so I'm using my example here with QAP. Let's go ahead and share my desktop here. So there we go. I'll zoom in some. Let's say I have this list. What I did was I took each email address and usually like in the emails, for most tools, a semicolon is your delimiter. Uh, what's really cool though is most of them, it doesn't matter if they're on a new line. So I like putting them in this way. And what I would also do, these all of course are me, but um, I'm, I would sort these alphabetically because if you get a long list, it gets confusing and whether something's in there or not. So once just sort them all alphabetically. Uh, I have a little tool, this is not part of QAP, but I can say uh, here, sort. So that would sort them alphabetically. But anyway, you have it where each one begins, you know, a new row and ends in a semicolon. This one, by the way, this one's a little different. So in, if you had a lot of email addresses and sometimes the email address doesn't tell you who the person is, but you have them in your address book, like in Outlook. So let me show an example here. Um, so if I was typing here, like Joe Glines, and I hit enter, see how it has my name here, a space, and then these brackets, uh, you know, open and close bracket. You can just copy this whole thing and paste it and when you put that in even if you put that into gmail or whatever so that's the same thing right but this way you have the name and the email address because sometimes those email addresses aren't exactly intuitive as far as who it's for right so this way it helps take care of that uh, but anything within these brackets so just look for the pattern and adapt it and then you install qap which i got other videos on that uh, and we're gonna hit so i made a test list here let me show you how it works well Let's, let's go in here. Uh, I would say customize, add new, add a snippet. So just go back and watch this if I went too fast, but go to customize, add new, add a snippet, hit continue. And this is where you're gonna put in your list. So I'm gonna copy them. I'm gonna paste them here and short email list. And let's say I wanna actually give it an icon just so I, it's easier to spot. Let's put this shield, okay, add. Now that was it, I'm gonna save. Now this is the customization window. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And I'm gonna go ahead because I'm so confident, I'm gonna delete that. Now when I click here, see this short email, which I misspelled, but see the shield? When I click it, it is gonna dump that list and anything you are. So if I was in Outlook, if I was here, I would just be in here, I can click this, and it's gonna dump all those in here. When I hit Control K, it goes and basically checks those, confirms are good. If there was anything not good, you'd see a weird symbol here or whatever. Uh, but let me also show you in Gmail, uh, let me do it over here. So make sure I don't have anyone's uh, email popping up. There we go, this will work. So here, again, I would go in the two, put in here, and sends them all in. Notice even this one, they all resolved, everything looks great, and you're good to go. And then, hey, you know what? Someone needs to be removed or someone else needs to be added. I can come in here and say customize. I'm gonna do this short email and actually I'll fix this, my spelling, so e mail list. And I can click this plus to expand it. I can type in here or I can keep it somewhere else and import it. But I think that's a very slick, easy way to basically have a distribution list and not have to have something complex up on a server that you have to learn how to use and have to go and remember where to go back to and all this stuff. It's just local, it's a local file on your computer inside quick access pop-up. So hope you enjoyed that, uh, check it out. Like I said, you could put in phone numbers in here too if you had a way to automate your texting, like with the, uh, they changed the name of the tool. What's it called now? Um, phone link, it used to be your phone, which was a stupid name from Microsoft, but phone link can connect to a, a Android app if you're using Windows 10 or 11 and it can uh, automate you can send text that way So you could just dump in those texts in there or I use push bullet as well You could dump in all those in the two with your phone numbers. So I hope, I hope that helps. Cheers